Hello and welcome to a, another video with Tech Shorts. Today we're looking at the Malahite DSP2. I uh, don't know if you can see that there. We're on the Malahite DSP2. Uh, we are running the latest firmware, which is beta 2.50. Okay, so we're running the latest one just for, for people's information. Uh, what we're going to show you here now is how to set up a scan range. People have asked uh, in the group how you fit uh, set up a scan range for uh, certain frequencies. So you want to scan airband 118 to 133. I'm going to show you how to set that up. So first of all, before you make any adjustments or set the scan range, you need to make sure you've got everything in the correct mode and all the filters and all the uh, settings that you want. So We've got um, AGC slow, we've got preamp on, I'm in AM mode at the top here, and we're um, squelch at the moment is green, which means it's open, but what we need to do is we need to make sure that squelch goes red. We just keep turning, make a couple more, there we go. We need that squelch to be off, because we're gonna tell the search range to be used by squelch so it will stop on squelch open or um, and then carry on scanning when it closes so we've got the squelch art basically on uh, everything's in narrow we're in am we're ready to set our scan range up so what we need to do is we need to go into band um, and then when you're in band you're in the standard menus the monitoring menus this is your generic one that comes with it you can adjust these if you want but these just take you straight to the frequencies that are on the screen um, keep turning and then you'll come across the one that says scanners and monitors page so basically you can see I've already set a few up here but I'm just going to show you simply how to set up one for airband and how it will scan the certain range that you set so we go to the one that's free and we've got uh, 117.94 we've got this it's on these frequencies because we've got 8.3 kilohertz steps and the end frequency that we want is we're going to put it at 133 megahertz probably won't set at 133 no it is 13297 because again we're on this step so the starting frequency which i wanted to be 118 and that's the end listening by squelch again as i say the squelch needs to be set uh off and then what you need to do then is obviously it will stop on the squelch this is your hold time and this is your list which you can save when it stops you can get it to save and this is your scanner name so let's just change the scanner name and then we're going to go to air it's going to right, that quickly uh, air call that qr there we go save that now go by squelch and then we should be able to adjust the squelch. Listen, that tells you how many seconds you can listen to. It's going to live by squelch. And then if we click start, now we've got everything set. There, now we need to adjust the squelch. If you use this right hand knob here, you can see the squelch at the moment is green. So you just keep turning until it goes red. There we go. And now it's going to start scanning. It's not very fast, but that's it scanning your airband. And that will scan now from 118 all the way up to 133. Again, obviously, if you turn the squelch down, it will stop. Okay, you can save it. And then if you save it, it will go into that list on the previous one. Now, just start scanning again. There we go. It's stopped automatically because I've not got a squelch high enough. There is nothing there. There you go and it's scanning away simple as that really and if I press stop and then go back to band go back out of band go back out of band again it's all saved there so now when I go into there it says auto save or changes this is when you, you set things it will automatically save and then click start and there you go automatically starting that's it really simple Nothing really complex about that. Um, like I say, if you want to set channels, let's just go back out of here. If I go to the PMR one, which is here, if I click start, you can see I'm scanning up here um, the 
PMR frequency, which is at two, 6.25 kilohertz steps. But because it looks like it's scanning quicker because it's just a short a band. But that's again, that's in, it's saved to narrow FM, as you can see. So that's automatically saved in the correct frequency and the correct mode. Click stop and go back out to band. Go to another one, click this one here and then click start. This is my two meters and that's set to 12.5 KC steps. That's it. Hopefully that was useful for you. Um, if you've got any questions, put them down into the comments box below and uh, hopefully that's helped you all out. So make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and we will see you again in another episode of Tech Shorts. Thank you very much. Goodbye.